Hey guys, welcome back to another lesson in the After Effects course. Today let's talk about animating rotation and how this is a great way to introduce different items in your composition. So we have our puppy right here, right now, and we're going to introduce him using the a Y rotation animation to start out with. So right here at one second we're just going to set a an ending keyframe for the Y rotation. And then half a second before we're going to rotate him counterclockwise 90 degrees. So even at 90 degrees you can still see part of him a thin sliver. To, so to get rid of that, because um, let's render this out and I'll show you what it looks like. So that's the basic animation. Pretty cool introduction of Fido, but we can still see this sliver before. So what I want to do is go to this first keyframe and then drag this layer in so we don't see it until that very first keyframe. So there you have a nice clean animation of Fido appearing. So we can do the same thing with um, the X axis rotation. So one second we will set an end keyframe by clicking the stopwatch over there. Now we'll go back to half a second and we'll rotate about negative 90. And you can do whatever you want, negative 45, negative 50, however much you want. Here we have Fido appearing like that. And you can add motion blur to the rotation as well to make it look a little bit more natural. So that's kind of cool. Fido popping up that way. Uh, another option is to move the anchor by using the pan behind tool. So I'm going to select the pan by behind tool, select the anchor, and move it down to the bottom. And this way, when we rotate the x-axis, he'll actually be popping up from the bottom of him rather than from just turning from inside of him. So let's set a keyframe right there at one second and then back half a second earlier. We will rotate him backwards about negative 90. We'll see what this looks like. So now Fido is kind of popping up. And this is a cool effect like having him pop up from the ground basically. And the same thing for if we want to rotate him uh, with the y-axis and uh, maybe we'll move the anchor point using the pan behind tool to the very left of him. We'll set a y rotation keyframe at one second and then we will go back to half a second and rotate him backwards. So about negative 90. Maybe even a little bit further. We'll do a negative 100. So there we have Fido popping in from the left side. And maybe we'll move him with the move tool over to the left side of our composition. So it looks like he's just popping in from the left side of the composition. So those are all cool ways that you can animate the rotation of Fido. Let's do a quick example of how this would look um, animating text because a lot of, I mean, commercials nowadays use this effect. I watch t Whenever I watch TV, I um, always find commercials using this kind of transition to introduce or to exit te text. So I'm going to move the anchor point with the pan behind tool to the very top center of this. So it's above the top of the text. I'm going to select this 3D enabled and motion blur. Press R to bring up the rotation. At one second I'm going to set a Y rotation keyframe. Half a second I'm going to swing it backwards. But really you're increasing the degrees to 90. And I'm going to just slide the end of this this layer so that it starts just at 90 seconds or half a second rather. So now we have the text falling down. 
Maybe we want it a little bit faster. So something like that. Sometimes you also see where this text kind of comes down and swings back and forth. So say we'll do that. So instead we'll go up to about 41, negative 41 degrees, then go forward a little bit, and we'll go back to 30, and then kind of slowly decrease how this, this swings up to negative 11, and then maybe back to 0. We'll select all of these keyframes, use keyframe assistant to add easy ease, and we'll see how this looks. So we have to play with the timing, but you get the point of the text kind of slowly zooming in. So I'm going to move these keyframes a little bit so it kind of slowly swings into place. Something like this. Maybe a little bit more even. Something like that. There you have our text swinging in. And maybe you have this, and then I will duplicate this layer by selecting it and pressing Command D. I'll move it down below, and you know, whatever you want, you can put part, whatever your text is. I'm just using sample text right now. I'm going to move it to the center, and then I'm going to decrease the size of this text a little bit. Actually, I'm going to change the scale down here. Our anchor point is over to the right of it, so I'm going to change that to right above the center of our text. And then just move it to the center of the composition. Press U to see all these keyframes. So I want it to come down after the TV commercial text comes down. So we'll see what this looks like. Something like that is really cool, and I'm sure you, you've seen this if you watch any TV at all. So these are some really cool animations that you can do using uh, the 3D animations in After Effects. So that's what you can do with rotation. Next, I'm going to show you um, some cool things you can do with editing uh, 3D position. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. But until next time, have a great day.